Hello people of the web and YouTube, the beginner, welcome to part 2 of this button box project. Now in today's part, we're pretty much just going to be taking everything that we learned from part 1 and putting it into action. The only difference today is instead of making this act like a macro, we're going to be making this act like a gamepad. Now with that said, this takes a little bit of tweaking and engineering to get to work, so for now let's just show you guys how I put this thing together and by the end of the video I will teach you all how to program this to act like a gamepad. Now the actual process of putting this together couldn't be any more simpler. The only thing I wish I did different was maybe get a different box, but in the end it all worked out and everything seems to function pretty good. Now, like I said at the start of the video, if you want the wiring diagram, just go and watch part 1. I have a very detailed instruction and wiring diagram that you guys can download and follow. And with that said, how about we get onto the code side of this video. So okay guys, to actually get this to function as a gamepad, we're going to need to actually include a separate library. Now as far as I can tell, this library is for the Atmega chip, or well, it's specifically designed for the Leonardo type boards. However, it will work with the Arduino Pro Micro. To add a library, it's fairly simple. All you do is you go under sketch at the top of the Arduino window and hit include library add.zip library file. From here, you just download the zip and add it to the libraries and it should be all good to go. But just to make sure, just make sure you hit manage libraries and make sure that the library successfully added because if it did not add, you won't be able to upload the .ino file to the Arduino Pro Micro later on. So okay, after you do all that, just download the .ino file and then upload it to the Arduino Pro Micro. From here, you're pretty much done. There are some things you may want to tweak in the code if you desire, such as the ability to add another joystick in. I think by default you can only add two in, but other than that, every other pin should be able to automatically work with the buttons out of the box. So yeah, from here, just close out of the Arduino IDE, load up your game, and program your button box. As you can see that was really simple and I'm gonna leave today's video off here. If you have any problems setting this project up let me know down below in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. For now I'm gonna leave this off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. There. If you want to add an LED in as according to my diagram you can. That indeed does work. It's a kissing tire, huh? How do you know it's a kissing tire? I mean, I know you've been...